Oh, well, hi there, Team Ozone. So we are back with Pokemon Volt White 2, episode 21, I believe. I think it's 21. I hope it's 21. Anyways, last time we did a lot of training, and uh, we're going to go battle the gym leader. But before that, we're not even going to ask anything. Uh, wait, let me check my team really quickly, because I'm not sure if I did heal. I did heal Sasuke, 32, 30, uh, 27. Why did that not go up? That should have gone up. This is going to be a tough gym battle, but whatever. We got Ice Shard and an Evolution, so we should be good to go. I should get some healing items. Why am I back here? Alright, it was training here. I need to check my bag. Let's see here. Super potions. I got two, and then I got a bunch of lemonade. That should actually hold me out rather nicely, so... I've already got the question. That's Pokemon. That's the studios. I don't want to go there. <laughs> I thought that would leave me someplace. That wasn't the studios, but it was the studios. And the game just froze? No. No. Okay, good. I was about to say, why would it just randomly freeze of all the times to freeze? This is the worst. Uh, okay, so we're just going to go over to Castellia City, get onto the gym later. But anyways, question of the day is CGI cutscene. The question of the day is, um, uh, actually, I have two topics on my mind. One is Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 3, which is, as always with the third in a fighting series game, it's just amazing. And I totally want to do a game review over it just because it's that good that I can't really say that many negative things about it. And that just makes me happy in the pants and everywhere else. But uh, besides that, pain. Because yesterday I was in a lot of pain. And yesterday being Sunday because I'm hoping you guys get this on the day I record it, which is Monday. Which is, uh, that's probably why it's going to be a little late. But uh, you guys will get this on Monday, hopefully. Um, pain. And I'm not like, Naruto pain, six age paths, blah, 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 no, none of that, I'm just saying pain, like, oh my god, I was in so much pain, like, when I usually feel pain, I like to run around a lot and just move, like, I feel sitting still never solves pain, so I was just running and running, who has the lucky egg, do I have a lucky egg? No, 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 okay, well, crap. And he doesn't have that. Okay, he's got overcoat. That's not going to save him from the life orb, so... I guess I'll give life orb to Sokka, actually, since those flying type attacks really should take um, a good chunk of the enemy's HP out. So, pain, and I'm not saying, like, oh, everyone needs to experience pain. I'm just saying, like, jeez, what is the worst pain you have experienced so far? I mean, if it's too graphic or you don't want to share, it's okay, don't share, but... Oh my gosh, yesterday's pain was nothing compared to the worst pain I have ever felt. Like, the worst pain I have ever felt was so bad that, oh my gosh, I, I, I stood up and uh, I just fell over and there was a faucet nearby. I stood up and my head hit the faucet. Like, I was already in so much pain that this faucet was nothing. My skin, it just... It was in so much pain, it was like, oh my god, iron defense, iron defense, and iron defense activated, which doesn't actually happen, but whatever. I hit the faucet, and the faucet broke off the wall. So, just imagine like a playground or something, and it wasn't in a playground, but I'm not going to say where it was specifically. So, imagine a playground, dude just falls over, hits his head on the faucet, and instead of him having like a huge ass bloody dent or anything... His head's fine, like, legitimately fine. The faucet snaps off the wall. And this is a brick wall, by the way. And then there's just water spraying everywhere. That happened to me! I, mean, I think that would be... Uh, this other time I broke my wrist, that was pretty painful. Like, it was so painful that I just passed out. I I saw black little dots in my vision. I laid down, I was like, wait, wait a minute, wait, wait. Uh, and then I fell asleep, and mom, my mom woke me up. And then, oh, this other time... Oh my gosh, there's so much pain. I'm pretty sure I haven't felt the most pain, but I felt some annoying pains. I was fixing the sink, and I've already told a lot of people this story on this channel, but if you're new to the channel, then you probably haven't heard this. I was fixing the sink, you know, normal thing for a guy to do. I guess chicks do it too sometimes, but whatever. I was fixing the sink. Uh, I was unscrewing something with this giant clamp. I'm not sure why we had a giant clamp, but we did. And, uh, for some reason, I wasn't paying attention. I think there was, like, something really cool outside. I was staring outside. My finger gets caught right next to the sink's little, uh, bottom of the faucet. Why are so many bad things happening when I'm near faucets? Sink faucets, by the way. But whatever. Finger gets caught on there. I clamp down and twist. So my finger is now twisted a little bit. I'm like, wait a minute. Some something doesn't sound right. Like, I didn't feel anything at the moment. I look down, I'm like, oh. 
Okay. Uh, actually, no. Before I even look down, I'm about to look down. Like, you know, what happened? I then, just everything gone. Nothing. I wake up, like, a few minutes later. My head feels like crap because I obviously fell over and blacked out. And I'm like, oh my god, oh, 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 I can't even speak English. And my mom is over me. She's like crying and crying. I feel so bad because I made her cry. But she's just so worried about me. Like, what is going on with this kid? I'm on the ground. And the funny thing is, uh, the little clamp, it's actually underneath me. So it's like crushing into my ribs. I don't notice this until a few minutes later. But, uh, terrible. Uh, my hand hurts so much. I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. And there's, like, blood on the inside. I didn't, like, snap my finger off or anything. It's just internal bleeding. So it looked like there was red stuff inside. I was like, what is this? But then I was just like, give me some water, Mom. And she was like, should I call 911? I'm going to call 911. I was like, no, give me some water. And, well, turned out she called 911, blah, blah, blah. Everything turned out fine. Just, my gosh, that was so weird. Oh, wow. How am I? How am I going to, like, oh, just go for protect, I guess. Um... So basically, I woke up on the floor, head pounding, uh, I couldn't speak for a few minutes, all because I just twisted, like, my finger with a clamp that I probably shouldn't have done, but, hey, there's Regenerator, awesome as ever, but anyways, he's going for some awesome bug type attacks that do tons of damage, so I'm gonna go switch on over somebody who resists a little bit of that buggy goodness, Sokka, hopefully. Uh, I kinda am trying to stall out that Mega Horn. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Probably gonna do a lot of damage, though. Ouch. Lots of damage. I'm gonna go for work. Uh, actually, Endeavor, since this will bring its HP down to very low. Okay, that did a good amount. And then it goes for Iron Head. Gonna do a lot of damage. It's definitely slower, so I should be able to get something that's faster to slaughter it. But let's just check everyone's speed. It's a 39. It ain't that slow, so I should have a chance to kill it with Ember. So basically, pain. What is the most excruciating pain that you have, like, maybe even not felt, but just pain that has knocked you out, like, carry, oh, clear out. Oh, I am so glad I got the critical hit right there. That was amazing. So, let's see, there's the faucet I hit my head on. I didn't feel nothing. The faucet literally snapped off. It didn't, like, shatter into pieces because I'm that cool. No, it just broke off, like, bam, broke off. And that's that. Faucet broke off. Let's just check my uh, attacks. Let's see here. I think I can survive a bug blast and get the dragon rage off. That thing has a really low HP stat, anyways. Um, then the finger thing. I just clamped my finger, twisted it, literally passed out right on the spot. Woke up. I was like in pain all over. I wasn't even walking straight. So I guess I think it was because I fell over and hit my head, and my ribs got jabbed with a clamp that happened it's not that like oh you twisted your fingers and your body got fucked up it, it, i mean that probably had a lot to do with it but i fell clear over and i probably hit my head on like uh maybe i hit it on the clamp i'm not sure i guess the moral of the story is i have a very thick skull <laughs> but at the same time things hurt scyther is definitely faster than me and has a massive attack stat not really sure what to do i'm really glad sasuke has regenerator because i can switch in and out but at the same time that's really annoying because he's a bug a weak to bug type pokemon so and kalin can pretty much ko that scyther now with ice shard i just need to make sure somebody do i really need ray he's got the ember but nothing on his team is gonna be slow now so i'm gonna go switch on over to ray to fodder it out really not the smartest thing ever but still Ice Shard should be super effective and double the KO chances and stuff. Oh no, Ray fainted. I'm trying to remember what, uh, something else that's painful. I mean, I've had a lot of stomach pains, but you know. Yeah, those are really bad too. Like, I have had some pretty bad stomach pains, but uh, I'd say that Clamp takes the cake just because it was so much pain that I. Oh my gosh, that's bullshit. That. That is absolute bull crap. How does that? How does that? What? No, that should be like super effective. Ooh, like that should slaughter something. It, that doesn't make any sense to me. How is it? T oh, it's got an Eviolite. I hate you so much now, Scyther. Buddy, pal, Scyther. I hate you, dude. Um. Okay, Evern might be a little faster than it. In which case, yay. Uh, Sasuke can definitely take a brick break, like a boss. 
And then you can switch out too, but I'm not sure why I would switch out, but okay. Let's see, switch out, brick break, nothing really happens. I resist it, yeah, good, good, good. Let's see, if that was normal, then double that. I can take that, okay, so let's go for book type, uh, disable, because it's gonna hit me with X scissor first, unless it crits, in which case I can cry to myself. Oh, God, how about you? How about a double a double a double what? How did that? Ah! All right, come on, everyone. Yeah, there's no chance everyone's gonna outspeed because aerial life. Why would you go for that? I mean, you do get stab on that. You got technician too. Oh, flipping god, damn it! I've lost a battle. But anyways, that's not that important. I wasn't really paying attention. I was telling a story here. I can't pay attention to one thing. I mean, two things at once. But whatever. Um. So basically. What is the worst pain you guys have felt besides watching my ass get kicked? Because I know it hurts so much. Just no, no, no. <laughs> uh, and it doesn't have to be like, oh, it hurts so much. It was just like, you blacked out. You legitimately, right there, you fainted in a sense. I'd say the clamp wins. I mean, uh, the hitting my head, that was some intense pain that just put me into, like, blunt rage. Like, I was like, ah, Ursa Ring Smash! Or Rayquaza Smash Outrage. But the that actually took me down like uh the clamp then again oh this other time i just randomly fainted uh in a hallway and like scraped the side of my face against like this really hard pointy rock i'm not sure why they had a hard pointy rock and i had this really, really weird scar down the side of my face like going down right on the left side of my nose it's fully healed now but i guess that was kind of lame but that was kind of just random so I do randomly just pass out sometimes. Weird. Anyways, that about wraps up for today. Question of the day is, what is the most intense or worst pain you have ever experienced? I'm not saying it like, oh, that's all be depressed and feel pain. No, I'm just saying like, you can get some pretty damn interesting stories, right? I mean, my story was kind of interesting. I broke a faucet with my head. Granted, I didn't break it into pieces. It just like, you know, I hit it with such force and my head must have been pretty damn thick. It knocked it clear off the little thing it was attached to on the wall, and there was water spraying everywhere. Um, I guess that's my most impressive story. The clamp kind of just freaking owned me. It's like, wild Rayquaza appears, throw clamp at it. It's super effective. -o. Anyways, that about wraps up for today. Remember to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more of this random Pokemanzing if you already haven't. By the way, the Pokemon comics, I know they were going to be up on Sunday, but they were late because I felt really sick because of the stomach ache, and I couldn't get the voice work done. But I do have them translated. Take my word on that. If you don't, it's okay. I'm not sure when I'm putting it up, though, because I have... Let me look at my desktop. I got six of them. One of them is really just a little tiny poster, but... Okay, I got five of them, and then I'm... Uh, yeah... Yeah, we'll get them up eventually, and by eventually, I mean maybe this upcoming weekend, because I don't want to do them during the weekdays, because that takes away from the Let's Plays. Anyways, bye! Oh, hi there, so, uh, yeah, I was training after 30, actually episode 30, uh, it's not 30, I'm thinking of Callan's level right now. I was training right after episode 21, where I lost a Berg again while talking about pain, which I don't really mind too much, but still, I figure I should probably win the next battle. So, I was training, and we gained, I think, two or one levels so far. Uh, that's why this is a totally separate recording, because, uh, it's not gonna seem like a separate recording, it's gonna be added on to the last one, because I'm editing it all in one day, but still, uh, evolution, there, it's like, right her. yeah, congratulations, Callan evolved into pillow, so I gotta check these stats, bro, fury attack, I, I guess, maybe, maybe let's just look at this, ice shards, nope, nope, no, 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 don't need that fury attack, give up on fury attack, we got takedown, so, Thankfully, uh, my style oh, crap. I should have compared the stats before and after but anyways. Yeah, I've trained a little bit of everybody, but still um, Callan Thank balls. I'm gonna compare the attack stat to before and after because now it should be so much higher than earlier Yeah, that is one of the highest attacks on my team. So that's pretty good. I Should probably think of an outro right now because I already said the outro one time, but uh, Oh god, there's grat. No no, this is the longest enough video when stuff cues the outro. Any second now, the outro will appear. <laughs>